Hello. In this session, we will look at how we can create the uh, workspaces in the Terraform Cloud. So in the last session, we looked at an introduction to uh, Terraform Cloud workspaces. So works, workspaces are simply your logical directories, which can help us to organize our infrastructure into meaningful groups. So depending on the different different types of infrastructure you are creating, we can organize them into the respective workspaces by creating those workspaces in the Terraform Cloud. So we can create new workspaces when we need to manage a collection of infrastructure resources and there are different different methods to uh, create the workspaces in the Terraform Cloud. So we can make use of the UI, the Terraform Cloud UI, we can make use of the workspace APIs, we can use the Terraform Enterprise Provider and we can also make use of the no code provisioning to uh, create the workspaces in the Terraform Cloud. Now in our case we will be using the Terraform Cloud UI to uh, create our workspaces. Now, very important point to remember is to create a workspace, you must have the necessary permission. So you should be a member of the team which has manage all permission, manage all projects permission, manage all workspaces permission or the admin permission. So you should be having um, uh, at least these permissions, uh, one of these permissions to create a workspace in the Terraform Cloud. Now in our case we are the admin so we should not be having any problem in the uh, upcoming sessions we will also talk about how you can add users or how you can give users the necessary permissions like in this case let's say a permission to create a workspace in the cloud so um, when creating a workspace Terraform recommends using a consistent and informative names for those uh, workspaces so you know making sure you're following a naming convention now one common approach that Terraform recommend, recommends is combining the workspace's important attributes in a consistent order. Now these attributes can be any defining characteristics of a workspace such as the component, the components run environment and the region where the workspace is provisioning infrastructure. For example, uh, networking-prod-us-east, uh, networking-dev-us-east, uh, monitoring-prod-us-west monitoring hyphen dev hyphen us hyphen west so it is recommended that you follow a proper naming convention though it is not mandatory but it can be really useful to understand which workspace is for which component like for example here when i look at this i can say that this is for the networking component which is running in the prod environment in this us east region likewise this is again the networking component but for the dev environment in the us east region so terraform recommends using uh, this sort of a naming convention when create when you're creating the workspaces now you can also add additional attributes to this workspace names as needed for example you can add the infrastructure provider data center or the line of business so it is user defined but generally terraform recommends that we follow a proper naming convention when you're creating these workspaces now in order to create your workspaces, you can go to the Terraform Cloud and here by default, uh, we will not have any workspaces. So to create your workspaces, you can click on create a workspace and you start filling in the details. So we are looking at the version control workflow and in the last session, we already looked at how you can integrate this with your version control. So uh, once you've done that, you should be able to see this GitHub. Okay. And then which report do you want to use? Like in my case, let's say I want to use this EC2 first repo you can give it a name so let's say uh, ec2 first workspace again it's user defined uh, defined you can give whatever you want and then click on create workspace now i've created the workspace now depending on the configuration files if you have defined any variables you'll also have to provide the variable value so here if you if you can look at the uh, code so this is the repo that i'm using and in the variables.tf file these are the variables i have defined so your Terraform Cloud will automatically parse the variable values, uh, sorry, the variable names, and it will expect you to pass the values for those variables. So after you create a new workspace from your version control repository, Terraform Cloud will scan the configuration files for any Terraform variables and displays any that do not have a default value. So in this case, if you see, it is displaying these three variables, which does not have any default value and do not have a definition in the existing global variable set. So Terraform cannot perform successful runs in the workspace until you set the values for the variables. And if you connected a version control report to the workspace, Terraform Cloud automatically registers a webhook 
with your version control system provider so here until you don't provide these variable values terraform will not be a, your cloud will not be able to run this uh, code so let's quickly uh, provide the value so here i have the values i'll just use the same values so I'll just take this and so my instance type would be t2.micro my ami and my region would be us east one and i will save the variables all right and now my workspace is created so this is my uh, workspace likewise if you want to create let's say i want to create one more workspace all right so let's say we'll go to new and we'll create one more workspace again this is version control it is pointing to github and now let's say we'll go with this i am role okay so let's say i am role workspace we will uh, add it to the default project and we will create this workspace so again here terraform cloud will scan my configuration files and it will uh, ask me to provide the values for the variables which do not have any default um, values all right so let me quickly uh, pass this so this will be us east one this will be t2 dot micro and my uh, role name so depending on the uh, configuration files uh, it will automatically scan the configuration files and it will expect you to pass the respective values all right so here i've created uh, two workspaces one pointing to the ec2 and the other pointing to the uh, im role and i'll save these variables all right so now i have two different workspaces all right so like this you will be creating the work so you can think of this as your directories like uh, if you're working with your terraform locally we create uh, working directories the same way here we are creating your workspaces you should be pointing to the respective configuration files all right now uh, whenever you connect your version control system repo to the workspace terraform cloud will automatically register a webhook with the version control system provider so here depending on the repo that you are using your uh, terraform cloud will automatically add a webhook to the uh, repo all right now i haven't executed this yet so a workspace with no runs will not accept any new runs from a version control system webhook so we must manually start at least one run so you know uh, whenever you create your workspace you will need to execute this workspace manually once the first time you'll have to execute this manually the next time your github will automatically trigger this whenever we push any new change to the respective uh, repo this will automatically trigger the terraform cloud uh, workspace execution all right so the first time we will have to start the execution manually so after we have manually start a run terraform cloud will automatically queue a plan when new commits appear in the selected branch of the linked repo or someone opens a pull request on that branch so you will have to execute this manually first time and after that whenever there is a new commit or there is a new push or there is a new pull request in the respective branch in the respective repo uh, the terraform cloud will automatically start executing that code that respective workspace for us like this you will be maintaining different different workspace uh, which will be pointing to the different different repo in a version control system so depending on the um, uh, component depending on the requirement you will be maintaining different different workspaces uh, different different repos in a version control system and for these repos we can create the respective workspaces and we can start managing the infrastructure by uh, making use of your terraform cloud all right so that's how you can create your workspaces uh, in the next session we will talk about the authentication now as of now though uh, even though if i try running this let's say start a new plan uh, so this will show me the plan however i won't be able to um, execute this all right because i don't have the authentication as of now so you can see here plan running so whatever we were doing uh, on the command line like terraform in a terraform plan all those are being done by the terraform cloud itself so this is a ui based tool that you have so here you can see this is throwing me an error so no valid credential sources are available so though my terraform cloud is connected to the version control system we don't have the authentication yet so in the upcoming sessions we will also talk about the authentication how you can uh, provide terraform cloud the necessary authentication to create the infrastructure for us on the aws platform 
all right that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video